Hey. Hey. Look at that. Tish Shade is here. And she's wearing orange for Frankfurt High, too. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming. We want to. I want to talk later. We're going to get back into that question of the day with you, and we, we have some follow up on on some of Scott's grievances. But um, let's talk about what you guys going on have going on next weekend at Castle and Key. The uh, or next I guess Thursday. Next Thursday, rather. Sorry, uh, the mingle at the Spring House. I remember you were, was it like this time last year that we talked about this? It, it was. Yeah. Wow. This is our third annual mingle at the Spring House. It's sponsored by Whitaker Bank, or is our presenting sponsor. We have, um, we have some new sponsors this year. So we've got our gold sponsors are Castle and & Key and Cherry Beckert Advisory, LLC. Our silver sponsors are AIC Roofing, Franklin Center for Innovation, Tom Drexler Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electric, and then Home 2 Suites and Surf Pro are our new sponsors this year. So what, let's see if people aren't familiar, if they didn't go last year like they should have, but they want to go this year, what, what, is the, what, what does it entail? What, what is the mingle at the Spring House? What are you going to experience if you go? So you can come out there. You can bring your spouse. You can bring your girlfriends or your guy friends. You come out. When you walk in, we've got a photographer there. Hilly mm-hmm. Photography has taken your couples uh, or girlfriends or guy friends pictures, and then we'll download those and put them on our website so you can download those for free. Cool. But they're really awesome. They're right in front of the castle. Mm-hmm. So we have that. Um, we have some uh, appetizers that we're doing this year. And I will tell you, Terry's Catering is our caterer. We've got charcuterie cups with cheese and olives and peppers, pepperonis and stuff like that. We've got a cilantro and lime shrimp salad. Mm. We've got sweet and sour meatballs glazed with apricot jam. Mm. And we've got spinach filled tortellini and vine ripe cherry tomatoes. That so really the appetizer good. menu is we're stepping up our game here. Okay. Then we've got desserts on top of that. Wow. So we've got fresh blueberry and pound cake desserts. We've got mini bourbon and pecan cookies. And then um, Castle and Key is going to have a couple of signature drinks for us that you'll be able to to get for free with your ticket. And then you can purchase other things. But um, we've got a Millville Mule and a gin and tonic. <laughs> Now I will say I have had the gin and tonic at Castle and Key. It's fantastic. They do. It's not just regular tonic. They have the uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like uh, like a, a syrup. A, a, is it elderberry? I forget what the whatever I, it is. I feel is. like it is elderberry. It's really good. It's supposed to be good for your immune system. Yeah, right? elderberry it is. syrup. Yeah, right. The quinine. Um, so so it's just a hangout. It's a mi- it's a mingle. Just it's come, a mingle. Come. We're really. Truly, like it says, we're mingling mm. in their spring house yeah. and on the grounds. And we have, we'll have live, live music. Jarrett Ellis is coming out to play nice. and he's very good. So we're excited about that. And um, the big thing is, the big news is we've got a bunch of door prizes that Ooh. are coming this year. You have to so pay extra to get into the you door don't. prizes? Wow. One ticket gets you, gets you all of this. Man. So you've got to get your tickets now because tickets okay. are closing soon. Okay. But some of the door prizes that we've got from Whitaker Bank, uh, we've got a signed basketball from John Calipari. Mm. Calipari? It's Calipari? Calipari. Calipari. Yeah. Oh, I said it right the first time. Yeah. Okay. We've it. got a signed football from Mark Stoops. Wow. Okay. And then we've got several other bourbon-inspired baskets that Whitaker's bringing out. Okay. And then Castle and Key's going to go donate a, a bottle of their bourbon. Mm. So. Nice. What would you choose, Scott, if you could to have either, if you could have a signed football or a signed basketball? Don't make me do that. It's Don't like, make me do it. What? Come on. Uh, no, let's go football. Football? Okay. Oh, yeah. see, I'll take the basketball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But basketball. You can't go wrong. wrong. You can't go yeah. wrong. Yeah. You're right. That's great. So we're excited about all those. This year, we have something really new. We had we had over 200 people come out last year, so the, the registration line was kind of long. Sure. And now this year we've decided to do a um, like a will call, a, uh, like a will call. That's exactly what it is. You can pick up your tickets before the event, August twenty second from nine to four. You can pick them up at the Whitaker Bank location downtown okay. at uh, one thirty West Main Street, and then um, Wednesday, August twenty third from eight thirty to four thirty. You can pick them up at the Frankfurt Chambers new location mm-hmm. out at four eight four Chenault Road. We're in our new space, so. Yeah. So you order the ticket online, you pay for it, and then you can just either go to the Whitaker Bank on Tuesday or the Chamber on Wednesday. Correct. To get the physical ticket. That way, you'll when get you the physical get ticket to... and your drink ticket. Okay. So and that way, when you get to Castle and Key next Thursday, you just walk in. You, you just don't have to waltz wait right to, like, past everybody up. else yeah. in the line. That's it's going to be plan. great. Yeah. Okay. 
And if you've never been to Castle and Key, it's a fantastic space just to hang out. Like I, I like going there just to walk around, walk the grounds a little bit. And it's so, gorgeous, yeah. and they always have. This year, I, have you ever been out? Have you been out there lately um, on the weekends? And they've had their drink. Is it a drink trailer? Mm, no. It's very cool. Okay. It'll be there too. Okay. So the drink lines won't be as long as they were last oh, right. year either. Yeah, because normally there's just the one sort of right. area. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, okay. What else? We got it's good food. We got the door prizes. Um, where do people go if they want to? If they're ready, they're like, okay, let's do it. I'm going to get the ticket. Yes. Yeah, so go to our website. We've got a QR code out there. You guys okay. are going to show us the QR there code right there. Scan it right now and register. Get out there, get your tickets. They're $35, but if you go with a couple, mm -hmm. and a couple could be a pair of guys or a sure. pair of girls or right. whoever, we want you to do that. And then um, those are $60. So you save $5 registering mm -hmm. two of you, and then you get all the things we just mentioned for free. That's, I mean, it really, you get you get food, you get drink, you get some drinks, you get you get, you get the, to listen to a great musician. You get your picture taken you get by your, Hilly. Absolutely. You get, uh, and you get the door prize tickets. And a beautiful place to hang out. Yeah. At. Like, right. I mean, really. Yeah. And then you a, get to hang out with all of us. So. And not only that, you're also helping support a good cause too. So Whitaker Bank, every ticket that is purchased, Whitaker Bank will donate ten dollars of that to the Fresh Start Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. And we are very excited that they chose one of our nonprofits to do that with. Mm -hmm. Last year it was Yes Arts. This year it is Fresh Start Frankfurt. We did a video, if you go out to our Facebook page, um, Whitaker Bake, Fresh Start Frankfurt, and I did a video. I think we took nine clips before we got the one we just said, <laughs> just run it. <laughs> so, you know, have a yeah. little fun. I think we're gonna start okay. doing some bloopers reels. Oh, that's good. Everybody loves a good Gotta have a little reel. fun. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, love that. Great cause. So, you know, there's, why wouldn't you do yeah, this? Yeah, no, it yeah. sounds like a great evening. So it's next Thursday, August 24th from 530 to 830 at Castle and Key. Uh, and you go to uh, the QR code on the screen to register, yeah. get your ticket, and then you can go pick it up next week. That way you don't have to wait in line next That's Thursday. right, and you can go to our website. It's on there as well. Mm -hmm. But the registration shuts down this Sunday, Ooh, okay. and then if you come at the door, it's, it's more expensive more. to get in. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. Go ahead and get your online registration. Do you think there's going to be watching that does not know how the QR thing works? Is um, it possible? Oh, you know, I never thought about that. I, it used to be, it used to be kind of fiddly, right? You'd have to have an yeah. app like a QR code. Right. App. But right. now, now you just just point your phone, like open your, the your camera. camera. Just yeah, just open the camera on your phone and point it at this. It'll automatically yeah thing. pick it up, and you just click it. Yeah. There you go. I think everybody's got it now. I feel like it. <laughs> oh, that, maybe. That I was, was a great uh, explanation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even because we did some when we were on our trip, and even like you know my mother-in-law, like they they she got she it. had she it. knew yeah. how to do that. No so, problem. All right. Um, all right. Well, uh, Tish, what, what about, well, let's do a little bit of follow-up first before we get into our question of the day. Scott had, uh, he was talking about his experience at, uh, at the Steak and Shake. Mm -hmm. I feel and, like he was kind of harsh. Right. Well, you know, it's, I'm not, yeah. everybody's opinion <laughs> on the right. show is, yeah. you know, there um, are underlying causes, but so. right. Yeah. You, you explained to us a little bit about maybe why more, more, especially service related industries are moving to more self-service options. I mean, none of us like the automation. I don't right. like the automation. I'm with Scott. I, I don't yeah, like yeah. the automation. I don't appreciate it nobody because said, I'm a people person. Yeah, right. Nobody said this would be a great way to make right. our customers happier. But um, we've had a few restaurants lately just go out of business yeah. because they can't get mm -hmm. staff. And if you can figure out the staffing and the workforce issue, mm -hmm. you would be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. But yep. a lot of these companies have to go to the automation mm. because they don't have the staff. So you have two options. You can either shut your restaurant down mm. or your business down, right. or you do a little automation and maybe it's not so interactive. Right. But um, I know at Steak and Shake, their owner's very young and he's trying to do the right thing. And mm -hmm. I know when we go there as a chamber lunch bunch, he comes out and asks everybody how they're doing. And yeah. I've seen him walking around even when we, I just popped in to grab a, a burger on the way home. Mm -hmm. I feel so, like they're doing the best they can. Sure. So these, some of these changes aren't dictated by corporate then? I don't think they are. I think when you like, talk do, are to there, the, Are there steak and shakes out there that, have, that still have waiters? I don't know. Yeah. I, just, what, I, I, I assumed know. 
and maybe that's wrong of me that 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 all that all's coming from corporate yeah. and like they're across like get the rid board. of everybody that yeah but i i feel like across the board everywhere in every market are looking for people and they yeah. don't have I, them i agree with you and, right. and you're right on that and that point should be made i also think if you give a national corporation an inch they're going to take a mile and you agreed know, and they're saying mm-hmm. oh we can save a little few more here then let's <laughs> let's do some more of that yeah. totally agree with that yeah but i think the to me the biggest point though is you you have a sort of a finite amount of resources that mm-hmm. you can use yes. you know and so it's like do you spread them all out so maybe you wait longer or your food's mm-hmm. not as good mm-hmm. or right. do you say we take what we have and we focus on you know the food preparation or whatever yeah. and then we automate this other piece and that's a way to help right. make everything better you know yeah, I just feel like, like everybody's doing the best they can with what they've got yeah. and they're they're trying really hard to to make things happen for the public so they don't go out of business and they don't have mm-hmm. to shut their doors where did everyone go that's the million dollar question where did everyone go I've never seen an answer for it somebody told me once and I can't remember where I heard it but there were a lot more people before and people your age and younger are not having as many kids as we did Mm -hmm. so they're we're dwindling in people yeah we got to get people out there making babies come on people come on yeah I think there's definitely that I mean obviously you know we lost a lot of people during COVID too, right? We did. Not that that was all necessarily people in the workforce, but um, and I think also people during the pandemic they shifted in how they thought about what you I know. I feel like that's the primary thing, but I don't know that it's like you know I don't like what I'm doing. I would rather spend mm-hmm. time with my family and live on less or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, but which, you're right. And I don't know how they're making ends. Well, if that's uh, the case. we were yeah. told that a lot of people during COVID who had a chance to retire, retired early sure. because they could. And they right. were just, you know, you get, du- you're done. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm tapping out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that all kind of just all of down, those people right? retired and mm-hmm. we were like, oh my gosh, cause they were all still working mm-hmm. and now they're not. So now everyone's trying to replace them. So a lot of, they, a lot of people move up and right. then some and then of these lower level or starter and, jobs. There's just not as right. much. That makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah. So we, we tell we out. tell people when <laughs> Man, we're we go out for out lunch, today. we we preface it when we go on our lunch bunches. Have some grace because mm-hmm. they may yeah, be no short question. staffed. Sure. No question. And um, everybody who joins us is very graceful, and mm-hmm. we just take it as it is. Yeah, yeah. And the food's always been really good, and the service they they try really hard, and we're really proud of all of our members who are struggling and mm-hmm. still staying afloat. Yeah. No, for sure. And, you know, when it's such a bummer to see, especially uh, TT's Tacos and Torches close, right. you know, and you see these restaurants that, especially locally owned restaurants that are, you know, mm-hmm. starting up and then they, they can't make it, make it happen. So it's important to continue to support those. Absolutely. Local businesses, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So, all right. Question of the day, Tish. I know this is, <laughs> I know it's going to be hard for you to say, right? It's hard. We don't want to talk about like, you know outsourcing things or losing, but is there something you would be okay with uh, switching to, to automated. automated systems, interactions that you think could be? You know, I can't think of anything other than what you guys said, like mowing the lawn, which I do <laughs> none of, um, you know, those things like, mm-hmm. but I don't want to give up the interaction with people. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a people person. I, I mm-hmm. need those interactions. Yeah. yeah. Um, it frustrates me to call someone on the phone and they said, Press five for something, and it's got forty-two more things. That did I press the right one? And yeah, that's the real problem, right? And when you you've, got, you've got a serious issue that you need addressed, I just need to talk to somebody. I yes. need to talk to somebody. Yeah. I wish it, I wish they would all start out. Would you like to talk to a person? Because mm-hmm. maybe some people don't. Right. I would hit that button first. Sure. Yeah. So I can't think of one thing that I want to give up. I can, well, at first I thought maybe massages because you could just have oh, a robot yeah. do massages, right. but I like that personal touch. Yeah. I just got a massage last night. Mm-hmm at um, Amazing Face and Med Spa. We did a ribbon cutting there and they had some specials going. So I was oh, yeah. like, oh, I need a massage. Yeah. And it was fabulous, but I can't imagine now a after I said that, that, that a robot sure. doing that. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I have nothing, I have nothing to add to this. All right. well. Neither did I. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see well, if yeah. I can't wait to see. Maybe what there's some the good comments. answers out there. Yeah. I'm with Scott. I want to see what the comments are to see yeah. if it sparks yeah. something. That's right. That's I got right. nothing. Thanks for coming in, Tish. Yeah. Thank you for having Great me again. Out, I always. love it here. Yep. For sure. So don't forget, this Mingle at the Spring House, get registered now. You got through Sunday to get registered ahead of time to save some money and uh, and then go pick up your tickets next right. week. Yep. Sounds like it'll be a great Thursday night. the 24th. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll be All a great right. time.